basically, Chucky represents my little cousin that was murdered about a year ago. Um, I mean, he's basically be a, he's is now a representation I can always keep with me. So he was never able to make it to the game. So now he's gonna be able to make it to every game this year. Your cousin's name? Uh, John Neal. That's why I run on the bottom. Uh, long live John Neal. Yeah. You say you carry this everywhere. Right? Yeah, practice, everywhere. practice everywhere. I keep them caught with me. Um, I've, I've recently just got them about three weeks ago, but I keep them with me all the time. The what's, back, the, what's the backstory? Yeah. Um, basically, the backstory is my little cousin. He was murdered, and you know what I'm saying. It was, for a while, I was hurt, and then I seen the Chucky doll, and I was like, you know what I'm saying. It just kind of brought some thoughts to me, and then later on, I got the Chucky doll, and then I wrote on the bottom, "Long live John Neal." Because it's some fact, like, John was, like, he was, like, one of my rocks. So when they took him, it was like they took a part of me as well. But now I'm able to keep that part of me with me on Earth and also have him with me at every game. Why Chucky, though, all the, the creepy dolls? I don't know. I ain't, never, I ain't never seen another doll I like. I like Chucky, though. So, so how old was he? And um, the fact that you have a platform like this, yeah. that this story is going to be a big deal now, yeah. what does that mean to you? Uh, uh, he, he was 19 when he got killed. Yesterday would have been his 21st birthday. Yeah, yesterday would have been his 21st birthday. Um, um, it, it means a lot that I can be able to put his name on a big platform. Um, we never found out who killed him. You know what I'm saying? It's an unsolved murder. But but it's still it's still good to be able to to be able to put his name out there and make sure everybody still knowing he he lives on. Where was that? It was in Texas County. Where I'm from Texas County, Texas. Yeah, now football related. Uh, you guys have a really young team. Chad was detailing that to us yes, a minute ago. Uh, what does that mean for for this season? That you're, you know, you still it's, have so it's, many it's young a people. lot of young people, but it's a lot of talent as well. And the only thing we could do as older people is basically get the talent ready to play in, SEC, in the SEC in SEC West. I feel like we can do that, and I feel like those guys are ready to do it as well. So I feel like it's not going to be no problem when it comes to time to play. There were much expectation last year, but there's no, not going to be this year coming off that two and ten. Here. Yeah. So, what's your message to the media here today, uh, coming off of that season? Um, I understand. I understand why we would be picked bottom of the SEC West. I would understand why we would be picked bottom of the SEC. We were two and ten. I respect it, but we work every day, and we we work just like just like they work. We work just like everybody else in this in this in this conference work. Everybody in the nation work. So we we not backing down. We not. We're not riding it off. We're not, oh, okay, let's have another two and ten year. Nah, like, we coming to get something. How are y'all going to be better on defense? Um, basically, just locking in more to what John Chavis wants us to do, having more experience in his defense. We, we yeah, Last year was the first year. Now we can actually put another year on our belt and, next, and now know exactly what we need from each other. How about just the journey for the three of you guys here? I mean, you've been a part of the, the highs of the previous regime. Yeah. You're kind of starting something new. Um, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted, when I came to college, I wanted to start something different. I wanted to be able to build a team instead of be a part of one that was built. So that's why I came to Arkansas. I feel like I feel like those two guys that are over there, Devon and Scooter, want the same thing. So we know what we need to do to make sure we get there. What do you feel about playing on grass, natural grass, in your home games this year? I think I like it. Um, Little Rock is probably one of the harder surfaces. You know, it's turf. Um, I I feel like when I was starting to feel, I, t I grass, it was kind of hard as well. I mean, I, um, turf was hard as well. So I'm 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 with the grass. I'm with the natural grass. How much better are you gonna? How much better I would be? I would like to be very much better. I've been able to perfect my craft. Um, just being at D Tapper, so we're gonna see we're gonna see in the in the, in the fall how good I've gotten. Body transformation, what's that been like for you? It's been good. It hasn't been too hard. I, I, I got I got a lot of I got a lot of weight now. Uh, I'm still moving the same, still got the same wind. So it, it, it's been no problem at all. Where are you at? Weight? Two ninety six. Okay. Two ninety six right at the moment. When people look at your defense, they're wondering where pressure is going to come from D. Like, will there be a pass rush freak on this team? Can, can you talk about the ends that are there? Um, we got three seniors coming back. We got Dorian Gerald, Jamario Bell, and Gabe Richardson. All three of them can be starters. And then we got we got freshmen like Menta, uh, Soli. I forgot to say his name, but uh, we always call him Soli. And we got Zach Williams and Gregory and Eric Gregory. Like we we have we have talent, and they, they those guys are the freshmen that just came in. So we have talent, and we have older people that's able to show them the ropes. 
we have a lot of people on the DN side, so I feel like we can get a lot of good bad pass rush on that side. There was a report out about three weeks ago that was critical of Chad and his player.